this is Deborah Selwood for the Photographer Academy and today we're shooting a body art shoot with a geisha theme and this is the lovely team. So we've got Annette who is a magnificent hair artist who's created this amazing hair and Samina who's created this beautiful body art which we'll see shortly when, um, when we start the shoot and our lovely model Vivian. Um, Annette I met actually indirectly through one of the colleges that I work at. She was one of the college lecturers. We started working together and we've developed a really good, strong relationship. So we can storyboard to a degree, but we kind of know how we work together. There's a really good synergy between us. So I know that she'll deal with something amazing and it'll be perfect for the look. And Samina, her work just blew me away. Again, I met her through the college and she just shone and we've started working together and she's fabulous so that's the team for today we've just started setting the studio up we're going for just for the first we're going to go for a few different backgrounds but to start with we've just set up a three-point lighting possibly with a hair light we'll have a look to see how much the um the backlights are adding light into the hair and i'm using my beautiful beauty dish I may, because we're going to shoot some full length, also use an octa just to fill in so there's not such a um, steep drop off from the beauty dish down to the ground, so it may be, but that's something that I'll probably decide once the model's in position and we can decide which is, which is going to look best for the photos. Once the model is in position, I can work out where I need these lights to be facing in relation to where she stood and also the power output. I tend to shoot, well, I tend to meet her for my main light and then these, any lights that I use as a secondary light, I tend to set just on what looks right to me. Um, you can work with ratios, but I find that this works better for me because it may be that a ratio that should be right is too strong depends what you're shooting obviously we're shooting body art so it may react slightly differently than just on skin so i'm just going to go with that and set those to what looks good for her the i'm using the rotolux strip boxes um, they're really nice because yeah, i can pretty much light from head to toe with these give or take enough that I can light from the hair, certainly down to the body, and you get a nice rim light, so separating from the background for this, rather than lighting the background to separate her from, I, th I think for this shoot that will work better. But again, we'll just have a look at the power output when the model's in, in situ. The main light that I'm using today is my 70 centimeter beauty dish which is from, I use Ellen Crom at the moment. This is um, slightly battered because it goes to the college with me quite a lot, but I've got a diffuser panel on the front as well, just to soften the light because we're shooting body art. It may have a shiny nature until, until she's under the light. I won't be able to tell fully whether the shiny nature. I wouldn't want to go for a particularly hard light because you don't want anywhere shining that shouldn't be. So hence, we're going to go with that to start with. We may add the rotor looks um, indirect into the shoot, but we'll decide on that later on. And w when working with teams, it's important to remember that you have to shoot for your makeup artist. So you make sure that you do some close up headshots as well, even though it's a body art shoot, you'd make sure that you take some shots for the makeup artist just for the face and for the hairstylist again you'd shoot some images specifically for the hairstylist so everybody's got something from the shoot. I've put a hair light on, I probably won't use that for all of them but specifically for the shoots for the hairstylist I would be looking at using the hair light for her and that again I'll adjust based on how it's how it's reacting with the hair if somebody's got lighter hair you'd need a lower power if somebody's got darker hair you'd need to push the power up a little bit it just depends on the hair so again we'll, we'll have a look when the model's in situ and the other side i've got a it's, it's a kind of three-point lighting so rim light both sides beauty dish obviously hair light 
to fill and then we'll look at whether we need to add certainly for the if we're shooting full length, whether we need to add a little bit more fill. I tend to keep it with the main light so you've got that direction rather than having them either side. Just that's my personal taste. I prefer the way that looks. Um, so we'll have a look when she's in situ. When working on a body art shoot, you need to be aware that the model is naked or pretty much naked so for us we do have the large window so the first thing is to make sure that the blinds are down so nobody can see in because that quite might surprise one of the neighbors and potentially upset the model so that's something that we'd would consider when building my studio i requested that my window in the door because i think you have to have a window for fire regulations but i wanted my window a little higher so people couldn't look in because obviously if people are passing by and somebody is not dressed so much it's it's not fair for people to be able to look in so that was one of the considerations when i built the studio was to have a much higher door quite in fact it's a very tall door with a high window just so you can see in case of a fire but nobody can just see in unless they really crane when we start the shoot we always make sure that we've got a robe for the model to wear just so she can walk in and out and she's got that um, freedom so and then obviously if she needs to go out of the shoot at any point again we can robe her up or put a towel around her um, just so she's covered as much as possible when working on a body art shoot one of the things that you must consider is the temperature of your model um, so when i came in this morning i put two heaters on and asked vivian whether she wanted whether she was happy with both on and obviously you can control the thermostat on them so she I know that she can keep the temperature how she wants it so she's comfortable. Um, one thing to consider is in winter it can get very cold so you may need more heaters just to keep them warm. You'd certainly be thinking about blankets while you're doing part of the body art just to make sure that they're nice and warm. Um, and in the summer of course you have the opposite where it could be very very warm in here so you may need fans we do have opening windows so we could open the windows but you might just need that additional fan just to keep her cool um, because as you're working with the the body art and um, makeup it can run so obviously the hotter the model is the more it can potentially spoil the makeup okay so we'll turn you around because we have got a little bit of that's lovely yeah you okay is it oh no <laughs> okay i think we're doing this one and then we're swapping hair over aren't we are you okay though yeah yeah, yeah. okay right let's have a look just turn that way a little bit for me super might just need to i'll grab samina in a minute because we might just need to sort out and come down that way so if I was shooting a non-body art, I'd probably shoot the hair and makeup first um, and have the model sat on a stool. But obviously I don't want to spoil the makeup and the body art, so I won't do that on this occasion. So it's getting the hair light high enough up and we'll just do, we'll shoot, make sure that we've got the makeup and we've got the hair and then we can carry on with the body art. First meter, the main light. Look to see if we need a bit more fill with the bigger light and then adjust the, the back lights just so they look nice on the skin because obviously it will there will be a certain reflective nature to the body art oh keep hitting it twice f11 let's have a look so i need you to just tiny tiny step that way a little bit yeah let's have a look So hair lights just creating a shine on the tops so of the side lights so keep giving a little fill here obviously this is fairly high so you're getting nice shines here and the hair lights just adding a little bit just so it's not dark on the top just a bit more shine so it looks really healthy and shiny okay right good to go then yes yeah, so if turn turn that way for me yeah that's lovely and then head back that's lovely just legs across yeah that's lovely that's great. Super. So we just look down. That's great. Okay. Let's come.
Come in a little bit closer. Look down again for me. That's lovely. Samina, can I just borrow you for a second, please? Just a little bit of powder, just here and there. That would be lovely. So working with makeup, obviously, she's been sat it's quite warm to keep her nice and warm and then one of the things that can happen is you just get a little bit of shine it's not noticeable in the main lights in the room lights but as soon as you get under the studio light you can you start to see the highlights coming through even with a soft light you start to see the highlights coming through once we've finished doing the more of the hair and makeup shots i'll move the hair light and then you've got a lot more freedom to move if you just step that way a tiny bit and turn your body this way and then step back a little bit. Let's have a look at that. Yep. I think that's fine. And that, that's fine as your head's upright, but if you tip back, I just need you to take a tiny step forward. Yep. Okay. That's super. So the highlights have gone now. It's much more matte now, which is great. Turn so your body's that way for me, but then turning. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Just look down with your eyes again. Super. And then I'm just going to come in a lot closer, just for hair and makeup. That's lovely. Okay. That's super. Just eyes around this way, a tiny bit. That's it. Lovely. Super. Okay. So hair and makeup wise, we're pretty good. Just making sure that you've got that and you don't forget that in the shoot because that's important for the team to have those images. So now we can start on the body art. So I'm going to move the hair light out because of where it's positioned. It doesn't give the model much, much area to move in. So we can move that out and then carry on shooting. So free to pose a bit more now. <laughs> OK. Yeah. OK. So just eyes this just round a little bit. It's not quite as far around. That's it. That's lovely. Just turn that a little bit. Just make sure. I guess the, it, the, the black bit's not going to transfer, is it, from your hand? Cool. OK, that's good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that's fine. That's lovely. That's great. OK. All good? Yeah? OK. Do you want to do some slightly to the side? Yeah, that's lovely. Yep. OK, that's lovely. Yep, that's super. Just one thing I've noticed from the side. Just pull this way, just that. That's it, that's lovely. Yeah, excellent. OK. Just, I'm also noticed something else. Can we just grab a face wipe? So another thing to consider when you're working with body art is that it does transfer onto the hands. So as she turned and the hand was here, you can see rather a red hand. You don't want to be editing that out. What you do want to do is just make sure that you clean that off and then reshoot it. I've chosen a red just to create a really sort of powerful image, so all the tonality, because you've got the black and you've got sort of like a, a goldy, bronzy theme within the image. So I thought if I went for a red, she's separated enough that she's not going to blend into it, but tonality-wise, it would just have a really powerful impact of just being such a bold red image. So more of a sort of, I suppose, a graphic kind of look to it. <laughs> we might need to clean a few more times. <laughs> Lovely. That's great. Lovely. Okay. So if you turn turn your body that way a tiny bit more. Okay. Lovely. That's super. That's great. I'm going to move my light so we can shoot the other side as well. Okay. So. Okay, so 
main focus lighting wise, so your head ideally just needs to be this way, but your body can be turned out of the light, that's fine. Yeah, so if your head's just coming back towards the light. That's lovely. Yeah. So eyes not quite so far round, that's lovely. Just look down, maybe just look down your shoulder a little bit. Might need to address your hand in a second, let's see how much transfer we've got. That's lovely. Fab, that's great. And then body straight on for a few. So maybe just push your shoulder up so you slightly, yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Turn your head just into the light a little bit more, that's lovely. Yeah, the joys of the chopsticks. <laughs> look really effective keep falling <laughs> super that's great that's lovely probably do as well is just add just for comparison just add oh thought that was falling just add the rotor looks in just and just do a few slightly longer shots because I'll focus pretty much from there, sort of, and, and from there for this one. So just underneath where the body art is. But we'll shoot some full lengths as well. But I think it just needs a little bit extra light just towards the bottom, just so there's not a... a I suppose it, be, it looks like a discoloration as it comes, as you work down the body, because the shadows are much darker towards the feet. So it'll just even out the skin tone throughout the image. Okay, so I'm working with the um, indirect octa. I prefer the quality of this light. I couldn't say exactly why, um, but it, it just seems perhaps a softer light. I suppose because it's flashing back into it and it's the reflective light rather than light just coming straight through, but I just prefer it. It's a really nice quality of light. I have shot it. For this, I'm gonna shoot it with the panel on because obviously the body art can be reflective when i've shot fashion with this i've shot it without the diffusers and it gives a really nice specular light but with it being indirect it, it's just a, a, a beautiful light it's not too harsh so this is what we're going to add into it so this is just so the light drop off isn't quite as severe as you're working down the image. So I kind of think about it in a retouching way of what retouching I'll need to do just to even out the skin tones. And if I light it all the way down, I don't have to even out the skin tones. The light does it for you. Last bit. Obviously we still want the key light. So I want the quality of the light on her face that this offers, but I just want a little bit more light coming down the image. So I'm just going to drop this a little bit more, but keep the same sort of angle. So you're not horror lighting. And then I'm just going to do re-meter just to make sure it's everything's okay. And I still want the main power coming from the beauty dish, not coming from the octa because I don't want the light coming up. I want the light going down the face. So we're still shooting at f11, but obviously the light further down is going to be lighter now than it was where it was dropping off. So that power isn't any more than that power, but obviously we're coming further down. There would have been a light drop off. We can see if there is any. So, oops, start again, reset. Just take a step forward. Were you about there or a tiny bit back? I think you're about there, were you? So F11 there, F11 there, F10, so you're not too much of a drop off. I don't want to go any more powerful, but I just want to be able to go down and evenly illuminate throughout the body art. That's lovely. That's super. And I don't know how easy it is with the body art, but if you just sort of just curve a little, just so you're sort of exaggerating your hip. That way, yeah, that way. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Obviously with a fashion shoot, 
you'd have a level of freedom to, um, for the model to move around with this. You're quite limited because you don't want to mess up the work. So, you know, with hand movements, etc. every time we move, there's a little bit of transferring from the body art onto the skin that there's no body art on. So it's little movements, tiny movements, just to make everything look nice and give her a nice curve. Lovely. Fabulous. Okay. We can probably swap over to another background. So we'll just reset the studio.